Hey Russell fam, in today's video we're going to do a homeschool science experiment. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel we talk about homeschooling and homemaking everything in between. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. I am currently homeschooling a first grader and a sixth grader. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time I upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. Okay, in today's science experiment, I have done one of these already, but I wanted to know how long it would take for the actual store bread to mold and if box bread was different from homemade bread versus store-bought bread. So in this experiment, you are gonna see that I am going to use boxed bread, I'm going to use store-bought bread, and I'm going to make some homemade bread from bread bread flour tongue twister sorry and so let's turn the camera around and get some bread made in this experiment we are going to use a bread mix that you buy in the box and i am going to make some more homemade bread with bread flour and yeast and i'm going to also use store-bought bread so let's get all of this bread made up
Today is the 24th, and I don't know if you can see it, but every single one of them has some form of moisture in their bag. So this is just being one day in the bag. There's the store bread, the sourdough, and then the um, bread flour that I made here. So I just wanted to show you an update on the next day. Today is Monday, March the 29th. It has been six days and the bread has been hanging out on my vena hood up here above my oven. Here is the store bread. There is the bread flour. And here is the box bread. So let's get it down and do a closer inspection of all three. This is the store bread. And I am not seeing any kind of mold or anything on the store bread. I'm not going to take it out and open it because I am highly allergic to mold. So anytime I do an experiment like this, it has to be in a vacuum seal bag and it has to stay closed. So there's that one. The reason I do these is because I find them very interesting though. Um, all right, you can already see there's a piece of mold. This is on the box bread that we made and there's another piece right here of mold and I didn't really see any on the back it was more on the front that I saw of that one that was a few little places and now here is the flour bread this was the made from scratch that we made and I don't know if you can really see that but here's it's more yellow than green or I mean more pink than green um, there is some yellow in there, but there's mold forming right there. And let's turn it over so we can see. And you can see there's some right here on this one. And it's only been six days. So we will do a check back in in a day or two. I wanted y'all to see how much moisture is getting in the bags from cooking. So, there's definitely moisture in the store bread. I just wanted to show you that. Today is Tuesday, March the 30th, and it has been one week since I have put all of the breads in the Ziplocs. Here is the store bread. There is still no mold on this one. And then here is the flour bread. You can see the massive mold right there. There's a few places starting up here. And on the back, you can see that's there too. And this is the bread that I made from scratch using the bread flour. And then on the box bread, you can see there's some several spots on it. And I still don't see any on the back, but I saw some on the front. So that is the update for today. I hope you found that interesting. I did not know. Um, I figured that the store bread would not mold and the homemade bread would mold faster, but I was not sure about the box bread. So that was the whole reason that we did this experiment, just to see how the box bread would do versus homemade versus the store-bought bread. And this piece is different from the other one. So I have a store-bought piece of bread right here and it is labeled and I'm gonna keep this. And in every video, I'm gonna give you an update because I am curious to see how long it's gonna take this piece of bread to mold. And um, I know some of you are curious too because the last one Y'all had made some comments about curiosity of how long it would take. Some of you thought that it would not take the, um, the store bread as long to, as mold as it did. So we're going to do an experiment. We're going to keep this one going. So make sure to check back in all of our videos for an update to see exactly actually when the bread molds. I can't talk, so I guess I better go. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.